man, I was throwing my rubbish out one day and then um, I looked and I was like, hey, what's your name, bro? And I'm Donny. And I was, yeah, I popped out a rubbish bin. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good song. They nailed it, the, the tempo, the vibe, the energy. Melody so on point, production was dope. It automatically transports you to that happy time. It's on, it's on tonight. Because Nisa Mystic, you know, Felitti, Donald, Junior, Awa, Demon Dave, Heath. We grew up in central Auckland. That's a big part of who we are and kind of our development. One of the things about growing up in central is that it's a representation of the group, that there's so many different backgrounds. But we all kind of the same in terms of the islands. I mean, that's I suppose that's why we blend so well together. Yeah. Just our cultural histories are so similar. Yeah. It's like a tropical salad, you know, fruit salad. It all tastes good together. Because nice. we're all half caste or, you know, Kiwi born, city raised, didn't quite know as much as we wanted to know about our cultures. Many Pacific Island kids who are into music are now forming their sound in high school bands. So we all ended up in the same music class um, and kind of given a little bit of a nudge in terms of writing our own music. And it was kind of like just the stars aligning kind of meet up. From the sounds of the south to central Auckland, here's Nijin Mystic from Western Springs College. I remember like Dave getting obsessed. I remember Dave getting oh, obsessed with the guitar. Sorry. Most of everything I play, um, the style that I play is all learnt just from listening to the radio, yeah. um, picking things up with my ears. He went away, knew a few chords. The next time he could play multiple songs, the next time he could make his own songs. He'd, he'd go home and not tell anybody and then come back to school and he's like, surprise. Really? I remember feeling like that they were like this like high school group that was like really popular and we were like, damn, who are these guys? We're really fortunate we have people that believe in us, um, such as um, Dean Godwood, aka Cuba. I'm Dean Godwood, aka Cuba, and my part in the Nisha Mystic story was as their record label with Bounce Records and also as the person that recorded their music in the Bounce Records studio. We had like three songs, four songs? Yeah. One of them had gone gold, and it was the only song that we had out. So there was all this pressure, like, what's your next song? And we're like, well, it's one of the three. <laughs> Can I ask a little something, bro? You want a jam, bro? Well, this jam, this jam, this jam, this jam, 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 let's do this jam. There's something going on here which is very unique and very cool. They're from Tamaki, making music on a PlayStation. We didn't have access to a studio. We had access to a PlayStation, though. All our demos, all the writing process went through uh, the PlayStation. What was that game? Was it Music 2000 or something? And we had access to a game called Music 2000. Once I learned that game, I was on my way. So when I first met David, he was making beats through a broken PlayStation in his living room through an old TV. With the help of Dean, we transferred all the sounds from the PlayStation onto proper software. The recording process would normally be a case of building on David's pre-production, then bringing in Felitti, Donald and Junes to lay down their raps, and then Awa to do his vocals, and then I'd get busy with the mix down and final tweaking. That song was basically the fourth or fifth song we ever wrote. That intro is quite legendary, eh? Like, as soon as you hear it, you don't know what, what time it is. So I don't know who played those chords, but those chords were amazing. I started jamming some chords. Awa started humming this melody along to it. So It's On actually came from him just saying, It on, it on, and uh. And there was no words. He was saying, Eat on. <laughs> You know, they're using, using the acoustic guitars, the bake, which was the island drums, and, and all the island sounds, and just the way they managed to fuse it and make their own sound is, is genius. It was kind of like I wanted to showcase all our talents. Forget about it, because it's a commercial hit. You're like, oh, yeah, you know, whatever, but 
They're actually dope rappers, they got sick flows. It kind of resonated when I realised, like, we were number two and Eminem was number one. You've had gold singles, you've done national tours, you did rumba, you were nominated for the Silver Scrolls. Has it been a bit like a roller coaster? Yeah, it has it? It's quite obvious it's a lot in a small space of time, but uh, we took it you know, quite well and just took everything slow, you know, and everything we did. And just had a lot of fun with it, I suppose. Eh? We started discovering who we were yep. and what our sound was, and we started becoming comfortable, and it kind of really cemented, like, this is the starting point. Nisha Mystic went from being young men fresh out of school to New Zealand superstars. The winner is... It's Nisha Mystic! <laughs> Nisha Mystic. Nisha Mystic. Nisha Mystic. It was beautiful that Nisha Mystic It's On was the song that kind of was an indicator, you know, that we we're about to come through. The flame is world domination. We're, um, we're aiming to take this music as far as we can get it. I mean... If they're selling music on the moon, we'll get there somehow. Just like their album, Nisian Mystic plan to polysaturate the world, Nisian style. What I love about Nisian Mystic and it's on is, is the boys are so true. They're just them. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. It's a special moment right here. It was, here. it was. <laughs> oh, you guys. And we, we're always talking about PI, um, uh, Māori people, you know, striving to success. Culture family, like, values. Just acknowledging where we're from. Yeah. Just it's another way of saying, hey, I'm proud to play this, I'm proud that's in there, that's where yeah. I'm from. Because of the content in their music, you could play it with your parents present, family members, you know, there was no swear words. The topics were, I guess, safe. And we ask for great things for our sons, for their polysaturated music. Our family values, our cultural values, they all aligned. They like, were embedded into us yeah, from birth. Yeah. And basically, it's just a build-up of the talent that we had as PI Māori people and just breaking the boundaries, whether it's music, dance, politics, um, teaching, that it's, we're not just confined to succeed and just a small niche of things. Six boys from the four corners of the Pacific and a wall-to-wall -wall enthusiastic response. I think it's a blessing that Nisha Mystic was the first group to get some commercial success because they really laid the groundwork down here um, in the community, you know, and their whole vibe is a community vibe. We wanted to kind of share what life was like for brown boys in the city. When I think of like Polynesian spirituality and um, our oral traditions, like starting to realise and make connections between the fact that there's power in what you say and what you do. Yeah. Their tracks have become uh, timeless. You can drop any of their tracks now on a dance floor and people are still dancing to it now. You'll go out and people will play it, you know what I mean, still. Mm -hmm. We started off as best friends at school, so there's pretty much no stronger foundation in that. It was solid seeing um, Basofika and Māori people on the big screen being themselves, um, being comfortable in their skin and um, promoting, I guess, our people in a positive way. You know, I think they inspire a lot of Māori and Pacific Island people in the community to make music too. It's on came out 20 years ago. Yeah. And people still sing along to it today. It is a really fulfilling thing, but it's, it's even more fulfilling when you feel like you come full circle and then you recognise the next bunch of people that are doing the same thing. Inspire other people to look outside the box and even outside of that box and you live your dreams and hopefully you succeed. Tennis wings and short live one, two rock the section. Complex and flow, six, seven tracks and active. Over the mic, beastie boys, intergalactic.